Yo, welcome back to a PCGO Pokemon Go video, and it is my birthday today, and I decided what would be a good way to celebrate my birthday for a video, and I'm like, well, what if we played a Pokemon that is quite literally a cake? And I'm like, let's try out Creamy. And this actually came at a perfect time because there has been some pretty interesting Al Creamy lists going around right now using the Rocks, the Lunatone and Soul Rock engine. Everybody's favorite deck to play against on the ladder is combining and teaming up with Al Creamy V Max for a pretty fun combo. Not only that, I also have Mewtwo V Star in the deck as a cool backup attacker. And this deck is actually pretty fun. Al Creamy Mewtwo Rocks is actually pretty busted, and I really liked this deck today. There's a lot of good synergy between them. Obviously, Al Creamy's main attack, G Max Whisk, for two psychic, you discard any number of energy from your pokemon doing 60 damage for each energy discarded in this way and of course when you combine that with the ability of soul rock to put energy on lunatone you can just discard energy from lunatone we also have mewtwo v star which is like a better al creamy in a way with uh that cypress attack which can do up to 270 damage with Cypurge with three energy, which is really, really cool. And then, of course, we have Star Raid, which is nice, too. There's a lot of really cool synergies. You can do Star Raid to soften Pokemon up for Al Creamy or Lunatone. And, yeah, Mewtwo is a good backup attacker. You force your opponent to have to take out a VMAX Pokemon, and then you make them have to take out two Mewtwo's. It can be pretty tough for them to do that. So a lot of really cool combos this deck does have access to, and I really enjoyed it quite a bit. And I thought it was a pretty good deck to kind of post on my birthday as Al Creamy is a cake Pokemon. So yeah, for the video, of course, you have to the sponsor, Card Cavern TCG. As always, if you're ever looking to get any PC Joe pack codes, get your codes over at Card Cavern. Card Cavern does sell codes online for the cheapest. So yeah, if you're looking to get any sets, of course, like Pokemon Go or Astral Radiance, which I'm pretty sure are like the two main sets to get right now for trading and buying stuff you need, get my Card Cavern. If you get any codes, at Card Cavern at the checkout. Use my discount code, code LDF for a 5% discount on your order. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. Shout out Card Cavern. Check them out. Use Call DF. Also, way right down there, make sure to go subscribe to the Shuffle Squad YouTube channel. I'm pretty sure we are relocating over to Zach Lasage's YouTube channel for the con main content now. Uh, Zach is leaving YouTube, and actually, he was nice enough to let his channel be the new main Shuffle Squad channel. So I think I got to link that down below now, too. So, But the old Shuffle Squad, the old Shuffle Squad channel will still be posting videos on. Um, just the main channel is now going to be Zach Lasage's YouTube channel because he is now retiring from YouTube. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at the list here I got. Um, so yeah, this deck's been kind of floating around online for a little while now because it's an interesting combo. It's theoretically a good combo. I mean, Al Creamy does synergize well with Soul Rock and Lunatone, as Lunatone has energy acceleration with Soul Rock that you can discard with G Max Whisk. And Mewtwo Rocks is also a deck I've seen float around. But what if we combine the two together? And I think it's actually pretty good. Again, making your opponent have to go through a V Max and then two Mewtwo's can be pretty tough to do. Um, and this deck also has some cool things with a dormant. A dormant allows you to fill your bench up with psychic energy. Very good combo when you're trying to build up your board for the Mewtwo's, but also really good to take big one KOs on V Maxes with G Max Whisk. If you just put a full board of Pokemon in play and you just a dormant each and every one of your Pokemon, you are you're already gonna have six energy in play. On top of the attachment for turn, on top of Soul Rock's ability, if you have energy in the discard, you're just gonna build up a ton of energy for your attack and you're just going to be hitting super duper hard and just destroying anything in your path at that point and then you have Mewtwo for backup you can use Star Raid to soften Pokemon up to be killed by a little bit easier without Creamy um, and then you also have Psy Purge obviously which is a nice back of attack so this deck has a lot of really cool synergies and um, it, you have answers to Miltank with Lunatone which is really good and you best believe I did play against decks that happen to play Miltank in today's recording and you already know Lunatone was an MVP in that deck you also have Cycle Draw if you end up bricking and you can also use an annoying one prize Pokemon so there's like a lot of really cool things this deck actually uses and it, it impressed me a lot more than I would have expected and I haven't I don't think I've done a video on Al Creamy in a long time I think it's been over well over a year since I've done a video on Al Creamy V Max I don't think I've done a video with Al Creamy in the thumbnail either with my new thumbnail style I've been doing so I don't know man it's kind of exciting I'm excited to try the deck out in PC Joe let's see in action and see what we can cook up with the Al Creamy deck all right let's see what we got going on with Al Creamy here we are going to win the coin flip playing against the Players Cup 4 deck all right this will be interesting good starting hand though we got Al Creamy Soul Rock we can get a Lunatone here, get energy on it. We can also get Greninja or Mewtwo. Ooh, they're benching three basics right away. That's ballsy. What are we up against? Oh my god. Starmie, that's not good. I can't do, um... Well, okay, here's what we can do. Starmie's annoying, obviously, but I can still knock it out. I can grab Lunatone here. We can set up the Lunatone. The problem is I can't do a Dormant is what I'm trying to say. I can't a Dormant. This, this friggin' Starmie, bro. <laughs> that sucks. I do have to get Manaphy in play. They're probably playing Radiant Greninja. They're playing Frost Moth Box, so... Yeah, great. Annoying that I can't do Adornment. But they're playing a lot of low HP Pokemon anyways. It's not that big of a deal. Mewtwo V-Star is going to be the main attacker here then. I think. We're definitely going to go for the Mewtwo V-Star. For sure. That'll be our main attacker here. I wish I could do Adornment though. 
But obviously, if I do a dormant, then I can't G-Max Whisk. But they're just going to keep calling. Okay. It sucks. I can't hit this Starmie. I could try to kill with Lunatone. I could try to kill the uh, Sobble here, Lunatone. Don't hate that. Okay, let's go all creamy. Can do this. Grab an energy. I can also just knock him out with... I could probably just G-Max Whisk, actually, and just KO this Sobble. I'm fine with that. We'll Marnie them here. I'm looking for maybe Mana Fee. We do get it, but I also get Mewtwo. This is an interesting scenario to be in. Like an Ultra Ball here, away Marnie, and it's like, I think I had to get Mewtwo, actually. I can't really waste some Mewtwo. I'm, like, hesitating getting a Mana Fee because I don't want them to get greninja here because they could knock out my Lunatone Soul Rock with Greninja. I think I gotta do this, though. I'll have to whisk that off in case they knock out both Pokemon there. I just hope they don't have Manaphy. Or they don't they don't hit me with the uh the Greninja. I'll have to be the play. I need to get Mewtwo V Star in play though. I am gonna need to use Star Raid here. Or not Star Raid. I need to use it because it's a better attacker against Starmie. They could Starmie me this turn and hit me for 150. Then I can blow their Starmie up, hopefully. I wanna one shot the Starmie and I need to get energy on Mewtwo too. I need to build up Mewtwo. Because all creamy's kinda done its job. Um if we could do a dormant, it would have been nice. But knocking out the Sobble is pretty good, too. So it's really not that big of a deal. Oh, Creamy's kind of done its part. Oh, they got rare candy. Uh-oh. I think we're going to get greninja this turn. Which is kind of frustrating. I won't be able to... Yeah, it's not good. I don't like any Greninja here. See, I maybe should have got Manaphy instead of Mewtwo. But I didn't want to get Mewtwo. Oh, they get level ball. Okay. Do they have the Greninja in hand? Well, No, they're actually going to attack with Inteleon, it looks like. Over the Greninja. No, they do get the Greninja. Yeah, looks like we're going to get Moonlight Shuriken here, unfortunately. Well, they need three energy. Currently, they only have one energy out in their hand with a bucket. They need one more energy. They have one energy in their hand here. We will, unfortunately, get cheesed by this Greninja, but that's fine. You can still knock it out. I think I would have three energy, though, to KO it. No, they're going for the Inteleon. All right, I predicted that. Yeah, they're going for the Inteleon KO. Just still have to give it a three energy to KO, which feels a little awkward, but it's not that big of a deal. As long as I can KO it. I can still avoid getting... Hit by the uh, Starmie. Yeah, let's see what our top deck is here. Another Mewtwo. I don't like losing that, but I'm gonna have to. I guess we can always tackle Lunatone. I need to get Manaphy down this turn. Didn't get Manaphy. Oh no, it's not prized. I know that much. Shoot. Not getting Manaphy there is pretty awkward. Not gonna lie. It's a big grab not to get. I mean, I could do. I could do Greninja now. I guess we no. Nah, I guess we're just gonna have to get Moonlight Shuriken. That feels pretty bad. How much I can do about it though? We can G Max Whisk. How much HP do I got? One ninety. They have Choice Belt plus Quick Shooting. They can knock me out with Starmie. I guess we just don't. They don't have it. One two three, knockout. Hope they don't have the knockout. I wish I got Manaphy there. That was a huge whiff to not get a Manaphy out. Unfortunately, I don't have a supporter for next turn either. Hopefully, we get something out the prizes. Another Far Crystal. Okay, I guess. They're going to knock out my Lunatone, so I, has, I still have Rescue Carrier, but just losing two prizes just isn't part of my forte. Uh, we'll see, though. They only have one Shade Dealings to work with at the moment, though, which is pretty good, so that is a big deal, actually. If they don't have a Nessa here, right, they actually might be in. I spoke it into existence. Yeah, we're mostly going to see Moonlight Shuriken knock out my Soul Rocks here, and then I got to hope for a good top deck. I guess then I can play Greninja. If I can find Switch, I can go to Mewtwo. I could do Star Raid. It doesn't really do anything, though. I mean, Alcreamy's kind of a beast here, though. It's kind of bulky. Kind of bulky. They can't kill Alcreamy, right? No, they are going Training Court Choice Belt. They can't one-shot me, though. I guess what they can do... I guess... Oh, they're going to have a Crabominable. Okay, that's fine. Looks like they're going to KO me, actually, after all, with Crabominable. That's fine, though. I can just knock him out with Soul Rock Or Lunatone. That's fine. I'm actually totally fine with this. Now I think I can win the game, actually. I just go knockout, knockout. Okay. Play training court. That's good. We're going to have to play Greninja down. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Alcreamy took a couple prizes. 840 damage. My goodness. So I need to get Manaphy down this turn because we're most likely going to see this Greninja. But I will be able to kill their crab here. And then we'll see where that where the rest takes us. There we go. We are one card short of the Manaphy, of course. It's always like that. That's all good, though. We got the mana fee. That's all that matters. Quick ball that away. Don't need that anymore. Got mana fee. Can they one-shot my Mewtwo next turn, though, is the question. I don't think so. If I just play smart, they can't knock me out. 
Do this. Seal cards. And see, now we just play a game. I probably should have played the Far Crystal. Now we just play the game of just attacking every turn. Just knock him out here. I'm going to hold the hand too, I think. I'm not going to get... I'm not going to... I just need to save boss, right? Because I have boss for game next turn. So we'll just side purge here. Which I'll play this anyways, just to thin out a card. I'll grab... Grab an energy. Sure, it doesn't really matter. I don't think it really matters what I grab there. And then we'll... Well, actually, maybe I should grab Lunatone, because they could boss kill my Lunatone here. Be awkward. I guess they could boss my Lunatone. They don't have a Shade Dealings to work with at the moment, though. You got to keep that in mind. Currently, my opponent does not have any Shady Dealings in play. But we can kill this uh, Crabomitable here with Mewtwo, and um, we can finish the game off with boss next turn if we don't get Marnied. Let's see what our prizes are here. Energy. Boss. Yeah, I should have grabbed Lunatone. Should have gone Lunatone that Far Crystal. I could, I can still get it with a Conceal. I'm still, I can still draw into it obviously, but it would, I think it was more ideal to get that. But yeah, I don't think they're gonna knock out Mewtwo this turn. I can't see how my Mewtwo is getting KO'd here, unless they have like some super crazy Water Attacker I've never seen in my life. I don't think they have any tricks up their sleeve. They can't even Greninja me because I got the Mana Fee down. I guess they could boss me here. Do they even have a boss though? Because again, they can't do Shady Dealings right now. They can't grab it out of the deck. Nope, that's game. We won. All right, there we go. Boom. And that's GG's versus Waterbox. Mewtwo cleaning up the rest of the match here, as I predicted it would do. Mewtwo doing the dirty work. Set up without Creamy, go Mewtwo at the end of the game. That's kind of the name of the game, I guess, with this deck. So there you go. We just do double sun energy here. I figured they wouldn't Marnie me either. Most Waterbox decks don't really play Marnie. And we just boss that up and knock it out with Psy Purge. One, two, three, and that's GG's. All thanks to Lunatone Solrock carrying us in this dub, taking a knockout there with Mewtwo against Starmie. There you go. There's Choice Belt Prize and Scoop Up Net, but they will take that dub. We got lucky they didn't knock out my Solrock Lunatone. Actually, looking back in the match, maybe they should have just went for the Greninja KO on my Rocks there, because my Rocks was what was allowing me to kind of chain attacks every turn. Um, but we'll take it, though. All right, getting in this match. We are mulliganing. My opponent might be playing a Mewtwo deck, though, too. It might be a battle of the Mewtwo decks from the looks of it here. We'll have to see... Okay, we get a Lunatone start. I do like the hand. We got a switch, Heavy Ball. To try to get all creamy down here, do an early adornment, which I might try to do to set up my board. We'll see what we're playing against, though. It might be... See if this is Mewtwo or not. They open up with a Mill Tank here. All right, I'm not scared of that. Let's open with a Heavy Ball here. We got nothing in the prize cards for basics. Oh, boy. Can they donk me? Actually, this might be the Mewtwo V Union deck, actually, which... Uh... I mean, no, that's not a bad matchup if that's what they're playing. I mean, Mewtwo V Union, I think it is. Yeah, it definitely is. They got rid of Flannery. All right, we can beat Mewtwo V Union. If they ever put that in play, we can blow it up with all creamy, which might just have to be the plan. Hmm. It's not too bad. Obviously, these mill tanks are not a threat whatsoever. Because we can knock them out with uh, Lunatone here. Okay, actually, you know what? If they want to hammer my energy off my Lunatone, be my guess. Because that's never going to matter. So I would actually prefer if they wasted hammer on Lunatone over something like Alcreamy or Mewtwo. Ideally, we just use Alcreamy, the big cake boss, so... That'll be the plan. I don't really like researching this hand away, but I'm going to do it anyways. Because I do need to find some stuff. Like some more Pokemon. Okay, that was eh, kind of a weaker research, I'll admit. We have Cycle Draw, though. We can get all creamy here. Hmm. I guess we have to get rid of the Switch. I don't know. That feels bad, actually, getting rid of Switch there, but we want to get all creamy. We don't really need Mewtwo in this matchup, so. Then I can just Soul Rock here to the Lunatone. And then Cycle Draw the Psychic away. Draw some cards here. Okay. See, I wouldn't mind setting up an Adornment just so that we can blow up that Mewtwo in one hit. That might be the play, but I don't think we really need to do Adornment. As long as we just draw well, we should be fine. They do give me a Rose Tower. That's good. My hand is kind of empty. Yeah, I could just go through these mill tanks. It's easy peasy. I can just knock out all their mill tanks, Lunatone, and then just set up the Alcreamy on the Mewtwo. That seems like a pretty good strategy in my books. And they don't got much either, so I like to see. We do this. We can do this. We can Sun Energy here. Do that. Can I really not draw the Rose Tower? Bro, I can't. I guess I'll hold the hand then and just knock him out. That's a shame. Take out their mill tank here. This is why I like the Lunatone. The Lunatone gives you a good attacker against mill tank. Otherwise... You know, Mill Tank would just be Mill Tank, and you would just be like, well, okay, I can't deal with Mill Tank. All right, concede, move on to another game. In this scenario, I'm not worrying about the Mill Tank, and that is one thing I do like about having this Lunatone. I would not be surprised if they conceded here. There it is. 
So even if they set up Mewtwo Union, I would have just had Al Creamy, hopefully ready to go for a big one at KO. All right, we lost the coin flip here, playing against something here. We'll see though. What do we got going second? Just a Soul Rock. Hmm. Might have to research here. I don't want to do that though. I wouldn't mind drawing a Mewtwo here. If I can go into Lunatone, that'd be pretty good too. I can get. I want to get Mewtwo down and maybe go Lunatone. That would be ideal. Get energy on Mewtwo and then go Lunatone. Draw some extra cards. Playing against Orbeetle. We need all creamy then. We're gonna need all creamy then, right? To blow them up in one hit. Yep, I'm about to go all creamy. So change of plans. We're going. We're going all creamy. That's fine. We want to be able to blow up their thing. They do have Mill Tank. We got Luna Soul Rock, whatever Lunatone, whatever his name is. I guess we well we kind of have to Marnie then. Okay, that's fine. Our Creamy is pretty good here in this matchup, so we'll see what we can draw here. Psychic Energy. Could still set up a Lunatone combo, which we'll do. I will Marnie here, and let's see what we get. Got all Creamy. Yeah. I I think we got to get all creamy, right? Because we got the VMAX. We'll go all creamy here. And then next turn, we'll set up an adornment and just kind of build up an insane board of energy. Seems good to me. Oh, they could knock me out. No, they can't. They got no energy on Orbeetle. We can Marnie them again too, which is pretty good. Yeah, this is fine. We'll set up the energy. We'll set up a pretty big board state here where we can just come in and just one shot an Orbeetle with G-Max Whisk. And the two energy attack makes it hard for them to respond with a KO of their own. So it's actually pretty good to do this play, I think. They don't play Avery either. We know that much. I'm going to try to set up Eerie Beam here, which is fine. Mewtwo V-Star could be good. We can use Star Raid, which I don't think is great because they have Cheryl, but we force them to play Cheryl, though, which is huge. Making them have to play Cheryl could be a big deal. So there's a lot of plays we can actually do in this matchup. So, yeah, we have a lot of things we got going for us here, which is good. I don't know. We'll see what they do. Probably going to go back into the Snorlax next turn, I imagine. Marning them again isn't great, though. I need to make sure I'm getting, like, I can just sit back and do a Dormant a couple times. I don't have to do it once. I can do it twice, which is kind of cute. I can do multiple Dormants here. It is good they're not killing my Soul Rock. I need a full board here. I need the a full board to set up this play. Nice. That can get me the energy. I think I'm just going to get a Lunatone, though. Because then worst comes to worst, I can just go into Cycle Draw. Oh, like Marnie and them. But, I mean, they're going to Snorlax anyways. This really doesn't make a difference. All right, what do we got? We have the Cycle Draw. We didn't get many... I could... Well, I could do a Dormant still. But I don't want to take too much damage. Do we have a Basic Prized? We do. Grab Soul Rock. Prize two researches, yikes. Not good. Yeah, I can cycle draw here. You know what? I think I'm gonna cycle draw. It's gonna go cycle draw and draw a few cards here, I think. That's fine. They could knock me out with G Max Wave, though, I guess. But I do need to get a bigger hand. I'm just gonna do cycle draw screw. We're just gonna draw some cards. Alright, we got a Marnie. We'll see if they decide to do, if they decide to go Snorlax or not. I guess if they do, if they kill my Loontone, it's annoying, but it's not that big of a deal, right? I'm not really too concerned about them doing that. They do Gardenia, and that's their turn. They get no energy off that. Does that mean they go for the KO on my active then? Because they'd failed the Gardenia? That what they're, that's what's going on? Gotta set up another up Creamy, too. They do have Crobat. Ooh. If they bench that, that would be amazing if they would bench that. That's a nice boss target. Okay, now I can go knock out Orbital VMAX, KO Crobat, KO Snorlax. I like it. Maybe they're playing Collapse Stadium, though, but I doubt it. Lap Stadium seems kind of bad with Orbeetle. I guess I have to be careful with Eerie Beam, though. If I hold on to my Scoop Up Nets, though, then, then my rocks are never really in danger of getting KO'd. Let's see if they're going to KO me or go Snorlax. They're going to Snorlax. I predicted that. All right, cool. So we'll just go all creamy this turn. It's fine with me. What do we draw? Another energy. I mean, they're going back in the deck anyways, so that's good. We can Soul Rock here. Soul Rock again. Attach. Marnie. I need basics. I need to get my... I want to fill my entire board this turn. Give me Mewtwo. No. I'll take Lunatone, though. No Mewtwo. No All Creamy. Feels bad. That's fine, though. Need to find basics, but this will have to do. So we'll adorn in here. Get as much energy in play as we can. All right, cool. And now we can just blow up War Beetle if they go into it. That's what I like. Being able to one kill these beetles is pretty good. Now, the nice thing, too, is you, they can't really KO all creamy. It's, as long as I keep one energy on it, they're doing 100 damage. Good luck knocking me out. I do wish I had boss in hand, though. There's Mill Tank. That's fine. I got I got Lunatones for days. They do Marnie me. That's fine. There is a world where I don't get an energy, though, to attack. But we're probably going to see a Gorman dies here. Okay, what are we going to get off Marnie? Boss, maybe? No, we got Pokegear. That could work. 
We can got Poke Gear. I have one Marnie left, though. That's fine, though. Sucks I have to give it a three energy to kill Snorlax. I don't like that. I want to give it a three energy on a Snorlax. Feels a little awkward. If I just get boss, so I could just blow up Orbeetle right away. Ideally, I would like to kill Orbeetle whilst in the active and then knock out Crobat with boss. I want to be able to boss Crobat. That's the ideal play. I still kind of want to do Star Raid. Let's see what we draw. There's the energy. Okay, can I get boss? I do. Look at that. With two researchers prizes, it's looking pretty good. All right, let's just bring in that Orbeetle. Let's blow this thing up. Let's get it, baby. We got 60. We got 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360. Yep, knockout. If I had choice belt here, I'd get rid of one less energy, which would have been good. I can't kill another Orbeetle back to back, but... Well, maybe I could, actually. Theoretically, I could. That was a huge KO, though. Let's take our prizes. Hopefully, we get research here. No, those... Oh, that's not bad, though. No, I didn't get the research off the prizes. I had two of them prized. I didn't get a single one. Not good. Hmm, that's fine. The energy was actually good, though. Energy is a good prize. I didn't have enough. I didn't have a follow-up. Need to hold net for this. One of my Lunatones. Oh, they hit me with a rock sand. I forgot they played that. Uh-oh. I can go back into cycle draw. Worst comes to work. Well, I need to find a switch, actually. Ooh, that did actually... That rock sand worked. And I guess it would have. I don't have a lot of supporters in the deck. This is where a comeback could happen for my opponent. This hand is not great. That was her last rock sand, though. Hmm. I guess we have to draw out of this. I'm going to one of the cow, though. They didn't go Snorlax. Okay, what do we draw? Mana fee. We'll quick ball that away. If I had training court in play, that would have been bless. I think we still want to get Greninja then, right? I don't have a lot of draw outs here. I'm going to grab Greninja. We can start to rebuild our board back up, though. So we're still kind of sitting on, like, a huge KO here on my opponent. I'll hold off on benching that, actually. Can't do a dormant. I need to save it for... I need to make sure I can draw an energy. I need as many outs as I can to getting a uh, fresh hand here, or new cards, anyways. Maybe the mill tank's stuck. They're not to switch to Bird Keeper. It's a world where this thing stays stuck. They could rope, though, again. Rope would be actually be a little annoying. No, you know what, though? They rope me. I can I can go into this Lunatone and no... No, but this gets knocked out anyways. I guess I... Well, no, I can... I have Carrier. I can go into Lunatone, and then we can do Cycle Draw if they rope me. I'm gonna Gardenia, though. The thing is, though, they're in a scenario where if they go Orbeetle on my El Creamy, they can't stay in the active spot because I am gonna blow them up. I'll just win if they do that. I am I am essentially one boss away from winning the game. I do need to hurry up, though, and find stuff like Ned, because my rocks could all get KO'd by Beetle. Yeah, they don't got anything. Perfect. Ned's not helping. I got a Switch, too. Switch would also work here. Alright, another good luck shuffle. Look at all the outs I have. Switch to Cycle Draw. We have Training Court. We have Marnie. Boss is, like, okay. Got Research. Raihan's playable. Kind of three energies. Pokey Gear, Bar Crystal. There's a good amount of playable outs in the deck. Maybe it is correct to do a Dormant then, actually. But I think I need to keep Greninja, though. I need to be able to do... I need to be able to draw some cards. But maybe it is correct to actually do a Dormant then. I don't think it is, though. Let's just hope they're stuck for a few more turns. The longer they're stuck, the better. I'm Gene, that's fine. See, I would love to do Star Raid. Star Raid is actually still a good play, in my opinion, because we force them to Cheryl and then remove their energy, which is nice. Star Raid, it would be good, but let's see if we draw anything. Okay, we drew the energy. There we go. See, I told you it was worth it to hold on to the energy. All right, conceal cards. Let's see what we get. We got Switch. Okay. So, I can KO their mill tank here, which is what I'm going to do because I can get a research of the prizes, and I should be able to do that because I have a bunch of research prized. Now I just got a boss kill Crobat for game. And if they knock out Lunatone here, I'm just going to blow them up with Orb. Well, I have the knockout with G-Max Whisk. Yes. Oh, my guy would have been so ticked off if I didn't get research there. <laughs> I had research. I think I had a heavy ball in the prizes. If I did not get research there, I would have. That would have been the biggest re moment of all time. Alrighty then. I think we are chilling here. Let's see what they can do to stop me. Because, I mean, they knock me out. I just go double thing. I'll creamy blow up our beetle and win the game. Also, I can... They're, they sh Again, I'm hoping they're out of Roxanne. Most Orbital lists play two Roxanne. They are down two of them. They shouldn't have another one. If they don't have another Roxanne, we can't lose our hand, and we can just research, try to find boss, and then win the game. 
I have Greninja still to work with too, which is huge. This is why I, this is also why having Greninja is good because at this point, all I need to do is win with boss's order. I all I'm looking for is boss now, right? Either boss or we just bait the Orb Beetle. So I don't know what else they have left that they can realistically do to stop me. Like we are just very, very far ahead of the. We're very far ahead right now. Let's we'll see what they got. They promote Orb Beetle. They can knock me out, but then I knock them out. Which is kind of cool. This ma this deck's actually a pretty good anti orbital deck. Okay, there's Eerie Beam. I do need to net one of my Soul Rocks, though, because I don't want to lose all my Soul Rocks. Actually, researching my carrier is kind of bad, but I think, I mean, I'm close to winning anyways. And that's game. They just knock me out. Well, it's not game yet, actually. I'm, I, I jumped the gun. It's not game yet, but it will be close to being game. Maybe it is actually better. Okay, we'll see we draw. Mewtwo. Hello there, buddy. I mean, I guess I can go Mewtwo now. No. Does it matter to go Mewtwo? I don't think so. Well, Sun Energy. Sun Energy. How many energy in the discard? Two. We do one more Sun Energy here. Build up the biggest Lunatone of all time. I'll pitch Mewtwo. Mewtwo is still probably good. All right, we just need energy or training court to win. That's game. Grab that. Grab that. And that's dub. Emax Whisk. 60, 120, 180, 240, 300, 360. That's game. GG's. Blow it up. Bye-bye. Good game. We did it. Woo. That was close. Not Well, actually, it wasn't, it wasn't that close, but it was going to get close. If, if, the longer we took to, like, get anywhere, it would have been very insane. But uh, we always could fall back on Lunatone's draw power if we had to. We had a boss in the deck. They had a Crobat in play. That was a good game, and that just shows up the power of all creamy rocks pretty well there. We even had the ability to try to go Mewtwo. I still think Star Raid would have been kind of cool to pull off, just because we forced my opponent to play Cheryl, and if they don't Cheryl, it's good. If they do Cheryl, they lose energy, and they're a turn behind, which is still really good. So, I think either way, we just kind of had them in a pretty good lock there. Wait for the video on my all creamy VMAX and friends deck here. Honestly, this deck was better than I expected. It was winning a lot of games. It was really fun. I mean, look at this win percentage. 19 games played, 14 wins. So, I mean, this deck definitely is not bad whatsoever. Um, I do like it quite a bit. Um, having the option to use all creamy and Mewtwo together is good. Like, it might not seem that good. Like, why would you not just use Mewtwo instead? Well, honestly, the all creamy is good. And doing a dormant is really good to set up your board. Having the one at KO potential. Having the rocks is really good for backup. And even using the rocks against stuff like Mill Tank is good. Because otherwise, Mill Tank is just a big problem. And it's one of the most annoying things in the format but having the answer to Miltank with rocks is really good i really like this deck a lot i probably want to play more draw though i definitely think the raihan is the most cuttable card you could probably cut raihan for like another draw supporter maybe like a bruno maybe play like a cynthia or zinnia's resolve i think we just probably want to play another draw card in the deck but there is enough draw already you just just don't draw poorly that's the name of the game just don't don't brick but maybe another draw card is needed i think the deck is fine though it's a lot of fun to play a lot of really cool combos you can do mewtwo and alcremie and rocks there's a pretty good trio of cards and i really did enjoy this deck quite a bit so yeah if y'all enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like in the video if you're new to the channel subscribe below help me on the road to reaching 31 thousand subs we are now less than 500 subs away from 31k so y'all been killing it with the support on the channel recently so i appreciate the heck out of every single one of y'all make sure to go check out my twitch down below go follow that i do stream quite a bit um, go check out Car Cabin. You get any codes? He's called. You have to check out my, my Discord server and my Twitter down below and all that good stuff. Also, make sure to go subscribe to the Shuffle Squad down below. We actually are relocating the Shuffle Squad's main YouTube channel over to uh, Zach Lesage's channel. Zach Lesage is leaving YouTube, and actually, his channel is going to be the new Shuffle Squad channel. The old, Shuffle, the old Shuffle Squad channel is still going to be active, though. We're still going to be posting content over there, but the new one is where all the main videos are going to go. So, I guess you should go sub to that, too. Um, but that'll be it for me. Hope you all enjoyed. Catch you all in another PDCGL video. And um, happy birthday to myself, I guess. But I, I know people are going to comment happy birthday, so I appreciate all the birthday wishes. <laughs> a, little, a little ahead of time thinking there. All right. Have a good day, everybody. Bye-bye.